Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you just tuning in, my name is Christabel. When you have finished watching this video, please go and check out all the other videos that I've done on my channel. Anyway, in today's video, I'll be talking about asteroids and comets. First, I will start with the asteroids. Asteroids are clues to the formation of the rocky planets of our solar system. The objects we see today are leftovers from a, from a time when the solar system formed 4.5 billion years ago. There are a lot of these leftovers out there. Let's learn some cool facts about them. Asteroids are the only thing that hit Earth. Each day, more than 100 tons of material from asteroids and comets fall towards Earth. Most of it is destroyed by friction as it passes through our atmosphere. If something does hit the ground, it is known as a meteorite. While asteroid impacts were more common in the past, they aren't as frequent today. An asteroid impact some 65 million years ago contributed to the extinction of the dinosaurs. It was one of several fact factors that affected all life on Earth at that time. Earth suffers an impact from an object the size of a football field about once every 2,000 years. A car-sized meteoroid, a piece of an a piece of an asteroid, falls into Earth's atmosphere about once a year. The result is a beautiful fireball ball, but the meteoroid usually burns up before reaching the ground. Asteroids are rich in precious metals and other metals as well as water. Some asteroids are actually blown out comets. The ices are gone and all that's left is the rocky material. Some asteroids have moons of their own. Most asteroids orbit the sun in the asteroid belt, which lies between Mars and Jupiter. Asteroids are also referred to as minor planets or planetoids. Earth and the other planets form as objects in the early system smacked together and made larger worlds. The process of collision and impact continues to this day, although with smaller objects, since all the larger ones became the planets we know. Asteroids continue to come close to Earth in their orbits. They are called near-Earth objects or NEOs, or potentially hazardous asteroids or PHAs. If orbital condi conditions are right, it is possible that a, that a NEO could crash to the Earth's surface, depending on the size of the impactor, the damage to our planet and us could range from very little to catastrophic. A small incoming object could likely break up in our atmosphere. A larger one could bring very large pieces down on the surface or into the oceans. There are groups of astronomers searching out and mapping the positions of these NEOs in order to predict possible impacts weeks, months or years in advance. Several organisations are making plans in case something should hit and cause damage. The chances of something hitting Earth are very small but also depend on the size and orbit of the object. The best known asteroids are one Ceres, which is 952 kilometers across, two Pallas, with a diameter of 544 kilometers, and four Vesta, roughly 580 kilometers across. There are rocky minor planets, and astronomers have observed them since the 1800s. Ceres is a differentiated asteroid. That means it has a rocky core and an icy outer crust. It might have an internal ocean. Pallas has a very irregular shape 
and maybe what's left of an early protoplanet. Vesta is very bright and is likely the leftover of a rocky protoplanet. Comets A comet is a very small solar system body made mostly of ices mixed with smaller amounts of dust and rock. Most comets are no larger than a few kilometers across. The main body of the comet is called the nucleus and it can contain water, methane, nitrogen and other ices. When a comet is heated by the sun, its ice begin to sublimate, similar to the way dry ice fizzes when you leave it in sunlight. The mixture of ice crystals and dust blows away from the comet nucleus in the solar wind, creating a pair of tails. The dust tail is what we see normally when we view comets from Earth. A plasma tail also forms when molecules of gas are excited by interaction with the solar wind. The plasma tail is not normally seen with the naked eye, but can be imaged. Comets normally orbit the sun and have their origins in the Oort cloud and Kuiper belt, regions of the outer solar system. There are many misconce misconceptions about comets, which are simply pieces of solar system ice traveling in orbit around the sun. Here are some fascinating and true facts about comets. The nucleus of a comet is made of ice and can be as small as a few meters across to giant boulders a few kilometers across. The closest point in a comet's orbit to the sun is called perihelion. The most distant point is called aphelion. As a comet gets closer to the sun, it begins to experience heat. That causes some of its ices to sublimate. If the ice is close to the comet's surface, it may form a small jet of material spewing out from the comet like a mini geyser. Material streams from comets and populates the comet's orbit. If Earth or another planet happens to move through that stream, those particles fall to the planet as meter showers. I mean, as Earth to meter showers, sorry. As a comet gets close to the sun, it loses some of its mass due to the sublimation. If a comet goes around enough times, it will eventually break up. Comets also break up if they come too close to the sun or another planet in their orbits. Comets are usually made of frozen water and super cold methane, ammonia and carbon dioxide ices. Those are mixed with rock, dust and other metallic bits of solar system debris. Comets have two tails, a dust tail and a plasma tail. Comets, comet orbits are usually elliptical. Many comets are formed in the Oort cloud and Kuiper belt, two of the outermost regions of the solar system. Comets are not spaceships or alien bases. They are fascinating bits of solar system material that date back to the formation of the sun and planets. Comets come in several categories. The most common are periodic and non-periodic. In the past, comets were named for the discoverers, such as Comet Halley or Sir Edmund Halley. In modern times, comet names are governed by rules set forth by the International Astronomical Union or IAU. A comet is given an official designation and can also be identified by the last names of up to three independent discoverers. Here's how it works. Once a comet has been confirmed, the following name rules are followed. First, if the comet is a periodic comet, then it is indicated with a P and a slash, followed by the year of its discovery, a letter indicating the half month which it was discovered, followed by a number indicating its order of discovery. So, for example, the second periodic comet found in the first half of January 2015 would be called P slash 2015A2. 
A non-periodic comet would be indicated with a C slash and a slash, followed by the year of its discovery. A letter indicating the half month in which it was discovered, followed by a number indicating its order of discovery. If a comet is independently discovered by three people named Smith, Jones and Peterson, it could be also called Comet Smith Jones Peterson, in addition to its former designation. Today, many comets are found in the automated instrument searches, and so the former des designations are more commonly used. Why known comets include non periodic comets, Hellbop, or also known as C 199501, Yakutake or also known as C slash 1996B2, McNaught, or also known as C2006P1, and the Lovejoy, also known as C slash 2011W3. In addition, Comet Shoemaker Levi 9, or also known as D slash 1993F2, was spotted after it had broken up with a close call with Jupiter. The D in its proper designation means it has disappeared or is determined to no longer exist. More than a year later, the piece of the comet crashed into Jupiter. The periodic comet Halley, or also known as 1P slash Halley, is the most famous in history. It returns to the inner solar system once every 76 years. Other one and periodic comets include 2P slash M, which appears every two every 3.3 years, and 9P slash Tempel, or also known as Tempel 2, which is which was visited by the deep impacts and stardust probes and makes perihelion around the sun every 5.5 years. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. And please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss an upload.